Welcome back. Okay, so we saw in the last lecture uh, the conversion back and forth between the cylindrical and the uh, rectangular coordinates. I didn't do any examples of that. You have seen because essentially cylindrical coordinates is just the polar coordinates with the z axis glued on top of the polar coordinates. Um, so you can review converting between the uh, numerical coordinates back and forth yourself. You can do some practices. Here let's look at a few uh, two examples. You have been given an equation here, z equals to r in cylindrical coordinates, and you have to describe this surface. Let's try to understand this thing, what it is saying. Let's try to put meaning into it before we do the algebra to convert it to rectangular coordinates. What it's saying is that at any point, only those points on the surface where the height from the xy plane equals your distance away from the z axis. Because if you remember, r is your distance of the point from the z-axis, right? You can drop the projection to xy and do the overall distance from origin or you might as well just, when you are up here, you do the distance from the z-axis. So what does that mean? If you take this surface, so you notice that theta, the angle theta does not appear in the equation, which means as long as you satisfy this, theta can be anything, which tells you what? Which tells you that probably the traces are looking like circles because theta can be anything. So. So let's say this is the surface, right? I don't know how it looks like, let's say for now. But let's say you cut it. Cut it at z equals k height. Okay? You cut it at height of k. Over there, if z is k, then r will also have to be k. Yes? Because z equals. So then r will have to be k. Here's your z axis. r will have to be k. And theta can be anything which gives you a circle of radius uh, k so that means in there this guy's trace in that plane is this one okay which means as you go up and up and up you make bigger bigger circles because z is growing right and you go down when z is zero you make a circle zero that looks like the cone doesn't it uh, let's verify that by converting it to rectangular coordinates okay so we think it's, it's, it's the the it's a circular cone, right? Let's make this object. It's uh, by the way, it's not just any circular cone. It's a circular cone which which subtends an angle of forty five with the floor. Well, how do we know forty five? Because z equals r, so it means the radius becomes as much as high you went. So this equals, you know, the radius equals the height, right? So that makes a, a 45 degree angle. Okay, so let's convert it into uh, rectangular coordinates. You have z equals r, right? And r equals what? Equals the square root of x squared plus y square, right? So you get the equation that z equals the square root of x square plus y square. Now this is the equation of circular cone, uh, but let me go a step further. You, you see, if z equals this, then z square equals x square plus y square. And this further confirms it for you. If you look up this equation in 11.6, when we did quadratic surfaces, this is the form of the equation of the cone whose axis is the z axis. Uh, but we have to be careful. This guy itself can give us, it can give us this cone as well as the bottom part extending outwards. Why is that? Because what you do is when z gets squared, right, whether you go down or up is positive, and this is a positive value. However, our equation was given to us this way. Since this is only the positive square root of x square plus y square, we actually only have the top part of the cone. Okay? So we indeed have the top part of the cone as we thought it would be when we were analyzing this directly by doing trace uh, analysis. Okay, that was an example going from cylindrical equation to rectangular equation. Let's do another example where we go from now 
uh, rectangular equation to cylindrical coordinates equation. This is the ellipsoid, right? Again, you refer back to 11.6. All the coefficients are positive. This gives you the ellipsoid, okay? Uh, its traces are ellipses in all the planes. All right, let's, how, let's see how we can work with this thing. We have z square equals 1 minus 4 x square plus y square, right? When you're trying to go from rectangular coordinates to the cylindrical, you're always trying to see if you can get that x square plus y square out so that you can replace it with r square, right? So I move the things over and then what can I do here? z square equals 1 minus 4 r square, okay? And here is the equation in cylindrical coordinates or you can write it as z square plus 4 r square plus 1. Here's the equation in cylindrical coordinates of this ellipsoid, okay? Um, so, those are two examples to understand how to go back and forth in terms of surfaces uh, using the cylindrical coordinate description system and the rectangular coordinate system. Next lecture, we will continue and introduce with the, uh, introduce the spherical coordinate system.